Hey guys, to factory set any PC, not this gaming laptop, not just this gaming laptop. You guys can go down here below. You guys will see that. Click on it, go in here. So these are your main settings. And then from here, type up factory reset. Well, actually you guys can just type in reset and that's good enough. But anyways, we're gonna put factory reset. It's gonna say reset this PC. That's what you guys want. So go into it, click on it. And then from here, you guys can choose exactly what you want to do which in this case, we want to erase everything from within it. So all emails, um, your pictures, videos, games, any information that's inside here, we're gonna erase. So we're assuming you're maybe returning this, maybe you're selling it to somebody else, and that's why you guys want to go on and factory restore it. So it's gonna be back to when it was brand new. So when you got it brand new, you guys have to do the whole setup process. Well, it's gonna bring it back to that. But of course, if you're just looking at this video because you guys want to fix some problems, you do have these two options up here. So make sure to check those out first. But anyways, if you guys want to delete everything, just press on reset this PC. So reset PC, we're going to choose that. And we don't want to keep our files. We want to delete everything. So choose your second option. So it's going to delete everything within this PC. And right here, you do have to reinstall Windows onto it. So there's two ways. You guys can do a cloud download. That could be faster than local reinstall, by the way. I'm not sure why that happens, but it can be. Now, your cloud download will be able to use more than four gigs. So that means it's gonna download more than four gigs of data. So if you're using a hotspot, might not be the way to go. You guys can just do a local reinstall. And that could take longer for some of you, but for others, it might be the fastest way. Anyways, we're just gonna go next and then right here you can't do it without you guys having to plug this in so make sure that it is plugged in so that's what this means you have to plug it in so here is to plug it in so I have it charging and I'm just gonna plug it in once I do that finally it's gonna go on and actually factory reset it so it's gonna go throughout the whole process and the reason why it needs to be powered on is just in case your battery level is not that high, or even if it's 100%, sometimes it asks you anyways. Just press on reset, and here we go. So at this point in time, it's just a waiting point. So how long does this take? Well, it does depend on your own PC, but all I can tell you is that you guys should make at least an hour, okay? So if you're watching this, you have an older PC, and you're factory setting it, at least make an hour so this can do its thing. It shouldn't really take longer than that, unless it's a really, really old laptop. And then with newer laptops, usually for me, it doesn't take more than 30 minutes for the whole thing to be done. So right now, just let it do its thing and then come back to it later on. So if you just left it to be, you're going to see something like that. Just wait for it to be done. Then you should see the whole thing, all the options that you got when for the very first time you got it to set it up again. So we select language, select all that stuff. And after a few minutes, you should see something like so. It's saying installing. So just let it do its thing. It may restart again. All right. So finally, after a restart, you should see something like so. Turn on narrator by pressing Windows plus Control plus Enter. For more accessibility features, press Windows plus U or select the accessibility icon in the bottom corner. So at this point in time, this is how your screen would have turned on when it was brand new. So when it was brand new, you should have got something like this when you turned it on for the very first time. And you can go on and set up again using your own email, another email, or if you're returning it, selling it, you guys can just turn it off right now. You don't need to set it up. Uh, to force shut it down, you guys can just hold on to the power key and then just turn it off. That's one way. So there you go, it's off. And that would be it. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.